Neutron stars are some of the densest, fastest spinning objects in the known universe. We tend to refer to the surface of the sun as the prime example of an inhospitable environment, but compared to a neutron star, the surface of the sun is downright pleasant. They are among the most fascinating objects that exist, but it would be impossible to ever get this close to a neutron star in person. So I wanted to use Minecraft to recreate the conditions that would be present on one surface. And I'm not just talking about placing blocks, I set out to recreate everything, from their size, to their crushing gravity, and intense rotation. Neutron stars are very small, some just around 10 kilometers across. Recreating that diameter in Minecraft gives us a world about 10,000 blocks wide. This means it only takes 25 maps to fully explore its surface. Earth is often portrayed as minuscule compared to other heavenly bodies, but it would take over 120 million maps to fully display the Earth's surface. That is a very small star. Of course, neutron stars don't start out as shrimps. Take the crab pulsar, for example. Just before it went supernova about a thousand years ago, the crab pulsar was bigger than our sun, but it collapsed into such a small area, it condensed most of the star's mass into a tiny region of space, making its surface gravity 200 billion times stronger than Earth's. This means the highest mountain on a neutron star can only be about 5 millimeters tall. In real life, gravity that strong seems to push the laws of physics by bending space around the star. And in Minecraft, that apparently translates to pulling objects right through solid surfaces. Either way, anything affected by gravity is instantly destroyed, in both scenarios. And while there would be no fire as we know it on the surface of a neutron star, the fire in our Minecraft world burns 471 times hotter than normal, which represents a surface temperature of 600,000 Kelvin. But intense gravity and temperatures aren't the only changes a supernova brings about. Not only does the star eject matter at speeds of up to 10% the speed of light, but it keeps all the rotational energy it had before it shrunk, which means the resulting smaller neutron star can rotate up to hundreds of times per second. So, if you were to look up from the surface of our small, dense neutron star in real time, this is what you would see. A sky rotating hundreds of times per second, filled with a nebulous cloud of supernova remnants, crushed by gravity 200 billion times stronger than Earth's, above a 600,000 Kelvin surface. And since your eyes would be instantly reduced to a soup of particles if you ever traveled to the star in real life, this is about as close as most people will ever get to experiencing the surface of a neutron star.